Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Rich Hits. So today I'm actually coming to you guys with a tutorial. Stepping over to Photoshop. Nothing is really based off of what we do in the camera. Everything is going to be strictly on Photoshop. I know you guys have seen those photos. They're jumping out of a frame or it could be jumping out of a phone or anything in your hand and kind of jumping out of that. That's pretty much what I'm trying to simulate today. But I'm actually just going to be using a photo um, that I took and I'll be jumping out of like the uh, Instagram. So if you guys like that, please stay tuned. I will be showing you guys exactly how I did that, a screen recording of how I did it. And I'll be talking to you step by step of the process that I go by to create that effect. Let's step over to my computer and I'll show you exactly how I do that. All right, guys. So we're back here. We're at my desk. Got you on the computer here. Um, so I already took the liberty of creating the Instagram story frame, the fake profile. Well, it's, it's my profile, but I already put my picture here, my name, the location, the hashtags, the likes, the comments. I don't get that many likes or comments, but hey, a man can dream, can he? So I already took the liberty of opening up the photo. I have the photo here. This is something that we did out here in um, Uptown Charlotte. I did a levitation photo. So what I'm gonna do is unlock this layer by double clicking it and then just hitting enter or you can go in and just click the, um, the lock and it will unlock it. So I'm gonna click and drag and just drag it all the way over to this layer. And I already have it cropped for a, um, a 10 by 11, four by five, six by seven, whatever way you wanna call it. It's pretty much a square. Um, I already have it cropped for that, for Instagram, and what I'm going to do is just size the photo how I would like it, and just pretty much put it here in the middle, so if I drop the opacity on it, you should see, you should see it right there. To actually do this effect, I'm going to drag this layer on the bottom. You can pretty much see it's coming to life just off of that, right? So for us to actually get this to work, I need to group all these layers. I'll select them all by clicking this layer. I'm gonna hit shift, click to the top layer. And I'm gonna hit command or control E, and that's gonna lock them all together. So I like to play around with it, seeing where I would like it to be. If I might want it higher or lower. Um, so what I'm gonna wanna do is drop the opacity so I can see myself which is going to be about mm, 65 to 70 percent 60 on the dot is fine so let's zoom in yeah I think 60 percent is fine because what you're going to want to use here is you're going to want to use your uh, pen tool so keep that at 60 percent and then you're going to want to click on add layer mask which is uh, where my mouse is, just go right down here. It's right next to the effects panel. Click Add Layer Mask. And since your layer mask is white, you want to make sure that you're always painting with black. So if I go and grab a paintbrush, let size that paintbrush down. You can hit the brackets, the open and close brackets, right under the plus and minus sign. That will be able to size up and down your brush. So if I start painting on here, you can see it starts to reveal what's underneath but I don't want to paint I actually want to fill it so what I want to do is grab the pen tool around the shoes I'm gonna do it a little bit fast so I don't have to slow it down for you guys um, all right so once you got that you literally just want to drag it back over I'm gonna close that you want to right click you want to hit fill you want to hit fill foreground color because your foreground color is this or you can just click here and I already have it set to black just hit OK you're gonna to want to hit enter you want to do the same thing that you did over there and like I said once you close it you want to right click you want to hit fill path you already have it set to black just hit OK and then hit enter 
So now, if I zoom out and I bring this layer back up to 100%, that's what it looks like. So now, I'm gonna bring it back down to about 60%. And the same thing I did with the shoe, I'm just gonna do with my head. Double click, click fill path, and then enter. Then bam, let's bring the opacity back up. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you learned something, let me know down below like what you thought about this tutorial, how I can make it simpler in the future, because I definitely plan on doing this again, with just a little bit more tweaks to get more advanced. When you guys do this, tag me, tag me in your photo. Let me know, hey, your boy hooked you up, I helped you out. Tag me if you post it on your story or however way you do it, just let me know, man. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like it, please comment, turn on post notification, share the video. Hey, one of your friends might not know this trick. You might be able to teach them. So, hey man, until next time.